Hello! Today we are going to learn how to research new technologies, set up a radar to reveal the map for us, and we're going to automate our mines, furnaces, and steam engines. Alright, between episodes I set up electrical mines on all my resources. I got the electrical grid expanded a little bit. I set up some more steam engines and a few more furnaces to get stuff going faster. It's all pretty simple. Here, I'll look at the steam engines so you can see I have them set up. You see, you can connect the steam engines in a line just like that, and they'll keep working. I added some more furnaces so you can keep the water hot. Ideally, it'll be at 100, so if it's lower than that, you probably want to add some more furnaces. And even if you do overkill, they're only going to feed, they're only going to burn as much coal as they need, which is great. Alright, first off, we're going to set up a lab. And for now, just put it wherever you want in the electrical grid. Next episode, or the episode after that, I'll go over how to set up uh, assembly machines in a production line, which will automatically bring uh, these research packs, which are consumed by your lab for research. But for now, you've got to manually create them, and there's no way around that, really. First thing we're going to get is logistics. This will unlock the underground belts the fast inserters, and the splitters. We're going to need these to get the, uh, the automation going here. I've also built some transport belts, and I'll set them up so you can see how they work. Grab all this coal. We don't need it anymore. As you can see, it's pretty easy. You just hit R to rotate. And you can hit R on stuff afterwards too, and it will rotate it. For example, like this mine, if I just hit R on it, it spins around like that. Pretty sweet. And you can also build belts over another belt, so it'll change where it's going without having to pick it up yourself. It'll automatically go to your inventory. Oh, shoot, actually, uh, screw this up. <laughs> It's all about refining your processes here, making everything better. There we go, we need to leave one space and I'll show you why. I've also built up some of these inserters and what they do is you have the arrow face towards where you want to put the stuff and the line faces where you want to grab it. And then we place these, I need to build some more power lines for them and they will automatically grab the coal and put it into the burners when they need it. Oh yeah, these power lines are terrible. There's an upgrade, which is one of the first things I try to grab, but we're a few techs away from that right now. We need to build some more of these inserters. And just to demonstrate, I'll take some of the coal out of uh, these burners here and you'll see it automatically will grab it and put it in pretty handy so now the electricity provides power to the coal mine which mines coal and then sends it down a belt to power the electricity <laughs> so now you basically have unlimited power all right that should be a good start our logistics is almost done here. Now what we're going to do is have this belt is going to bring coal to all of our furnaces. And these belts are going to bring iron from all of our mines. Probably going to expand the uh, facilities there later <laughs> as you can see it's just piling up right now so we're actually gonna stop the flow until we get uh, everything set up
We need that logistics tech to continue on. Oh, there we go. Next, we want automation, because that'll unlock the assembly machines and the long head inserters. And the long head inserters are just like these inserters, only they go one step further. So they'll be able to grab the ore from these belts. As you can see, those red long-handed ones are just grabbing all the resources off the track. So they'll have coal and the ore. Now we just need a place to dump the extra, which will be this belt here. And now you can have like an inserter on the end, dumping everything into a chest or not. I don't bother because the nice thing about these lines is when they get full, the production will stop which means you'll always have a certain amount of resources and won't just be wasting your power and coal just making it over and over again. See, look at this. This is nice. This is going to save us a lot of time. Alright, let's see. We got those lights here. Ah, we need some more research. All right, looks like everything's working out good. And as you'll see, one electric mining drill is enough to last you for a while. And if you're running short on coal, like instead of having it all nice and backed up here, you have like no coal, or you start seeing electricity fluctuating, which is probably because it's not getting enough coal and you need to just set up another mine. Pretty simple. Oh yeah, one other trick. Uh, let me get a couple more splitters built here. Uh, I should really get some more of these research packs going though. Alright, eventually we'll have these electronics and the copper wire automatically made. I'll show that off in the next episode because as you can see it takes forever to build stuff as you get the higher tech stuff so you're going to want machines to build them for you all right now you see how it's just going down one row here if we make one of these on each side here we can then have it go into itself like so Pretty fancy, right? All right, now I have this two sp spaces apart for a reason, and I'll demonstrate that in the next episode. All right, where's radar at? Uh, was it not an early tech? <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll have to cover radar later. Uh, one other thing you'll want to do is to research the military and armor crafting tech so you have some armor and you have a submachine gun or a shotgun or something because this pistol is terrible. And if we get attacked, this pistol is not going to be very useful. So I'm going to research that and get some better techs in the meantime. Get some of these lights up. Ah, oh, there's radar. Knew it was in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Build and radar. All right, now this is a really simple building. You can just place this anywhere you have electricity and all it needs is a power and it will start scanning on its own, as you can see on the right there. 
And what it's scanning is it'll take a square on the map you haven't explored and it will reveal it for you. So if you have a few of these going, they will automatically explore the map for you. And they tend to attract more beasties, so that's why you want to get your uh, weapons research going. And also, all these structures cause pollution, and the more pollution you have, the bigger and badder the enemy raids will be. We've been lucky and we haven't seen one yet. But it's it never hurts to be prepared. <laughs> get that armor to you. Alright, that's it for today's episode. Next episode we will cover assembly lines and how to automate your production.